Ahoy, it's the captain speaking. Yes. Oh, yes, of course. Well, that's excellent news. Thank you for calling me. Many thanks. Speak to you soon. Bye. Oh, that's excellent news, shipmates. Things go back to normal. Woohoo! Ahoy, oh, shipmates. Oh, I have a feeling someone needs to go to evening classes for acting skills. Never mind. I think I conveyed the message there. Things are looking promising and up for the channel. I've had a lot of meetings with ABP, Associated British Ports, and I think we've reached an understanding, and I will be able to go forward and bring you again the live streaming cameras and also drone videos of the ships arriving and departing in the port of Southampton. It's taken a little while, and I've got a, a little bit more to do, but I can at least say we are going in the right direction, and probably in the next week or so, I should start having some of the cameras back online. Not that we've missed too much at the moment. This time of year is pretty quiet ship-wise. But there is some land-based ship activity, you can see. This is the lighthouse ship from Cowshot Spitz. It was in Ocean Village for quite a while, and now it's been moved to the Southern Sky Air Museum, just behind Ocean Village. It's only been there for, I think, a short period of time, and I believe they're going to be working on it and allow you to actually get on board. But at the moment, it's all covered up. But if you do have an opportunity to, have to visit the uh, Solent Sky Museum, I do recommend it. It's all run by volunteers, and they've got a great selection of planes, especially Spitfires, Southampton being very famous for Spitfires, as they were designed, built, and test flown in the area. In fact, originally the Spitfires were based in Cowshot when they were supermarine racing planes. And there we go. All comes back home eventually, doesn't it? There are, of course, some other ship-based fun to be had. Quite a few anchors around town. This one here is down in Ocean Village. This one here is on the High Street and is, in fact, the anchor for the QE2. We don't have the ship anymore, but we do have the anchor. Considering how large the ship is, it doesn't actually look a very big anchor, does it? And there's another anchor down here in Ocean Village. Which, if you ask me, I don't think that's how the manufacturer intended it. One of those sides looks definitely bent. I can't imagine how you'd bend an anchor that sort of size. Now, uh, this is a few things you can do in the Port of Southampton during the quiet season and when the, the weather's not so good. But of course, there are other types of anchors that I prefer to visit. And there's two of these. There's the anchor. Just down by the river test. And then there's the anchor in just by eating tiger or the anchor. Ideal on a summer's day. Of course, even, even though it is a quiet time of year, you do get some odd traffic in here in port. This is uh, one of the local hovercrafts. The hovercraft repair facility is just a bit up the itch in there. The hovercraft here has been in for annual maintenance. And of course, the commercial ships are continually plying their trade. This is one of the favourite dredgers in the area, the Semex Go Innovation. Rather splendid looking. Starting to look a bit, a bit worn now, the patina of wear and tear on the hull. She was looking really fine when she was brand new, really sharp. We'll see. In daily use, trudging up and down the itching. Well, I hope. To bring you a lot more content coming soon shipmates thanks for all your support and i'll see you soon till next time shipmates <laughs>